Good evening and welcome to The Coolest Stuff. Tonight we have Lonnie Love, owner of the coolest nightclub in town, as everyone knows. But what we want to really want to know, how did you get your start in the LA area? Roy, Roy, my roots. Well, it all began about uh, two decades ago. My mom dropped me off near a nightclub in southern Wilshire. And uh, the music was so loud, it uh, disrupted my sense of hearing for about 18 years. So I feel music with my sense of touch, right? I use my smell and my taste, and I, the way I go for a nightclub is I have to often taste it, smell it, see it, really be in it, and get involved in it. So, uh, England wasn't real too hip with what I was doing, with, you know, the bobbin cats and the stripping lovers. So I moved out here to LA, started a new club, called it Fangs and Love, and here we are today, giving interviews. I say I've done pretty well for myself. Fangs and Love, right? Right. That's fascinating. So what makes your club so much better than all the other ones in town? Right, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, a lot of people seem to be asking me this question. What I'm doing is I've tapped into the subculture of American use, right? You see what the use like is a bit out there, a bit out the box. So here's one example of what I do. Wednesday night, I call it feline night. Everyone puts on their whiskers and they lick their paws. And we just got all these fur walls, these yarn balls, all this cat food, and everyone gets to scratch each other's backs. It's almost a dance, really. And, uh, you know, we just have a good time with that. It's a bit different, but I think it's what sets us apart from all the other clubs. Feline night, that's crazy. So how did you get investors for this club? Right, that's a great question. Financing as well. Right, so I got a lot of people were knocking on my doors asking me to fund the club. I said no, I wanted to do feline club. What's going on here? And, and no, no one would say yes or no. So I went to my uncle, my uncle Karen, top-notch guy, live of Liverpool, and I said, hey, would you like to finance my club? Uh, he wouldn't really do it at the beginning. Uh, yeah, there you are. So uh, I, uh, I gave him some money, and I showed him some kitten plans, and took him to Petco, and there's the rest of the story. Lanny Love. Lanny Love. Right. Now, your location is amazing. Tell us how you found that location. Right, I'd love to answer that, but it's a cat feline night in my club tonight and I've got to be supervisor. It's been lovely chatting with you. I'll see you soon. Great, great job stuff. Great stuff you've done here. See you all later. Yes, yes, yes. Kerim is always busy. I understand that. And his uncle Kerem, as you see, Kerim and Kerem, they are similar and we are from the family. So I was visiting that Petco near that club and I, am, I have a big cat fetish and I have seen that club is the right place for us. That's all the time we have tonight. Thanks for joining. Join us next time when we will talk to Polly Shore about his new canine dog, his new canine nightclub.